a one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, everyone, let's have a look at Chinese kites. Now, Chinese kites is exploring further the concept of the fourth, which we saw in the previous piece, promenade. Now, here, they're putting the fourth all over the place in both hands, and they're giving you all the different kinds of fourths that we see. So let's first find our opening hand positions, okay? So it's second finger on B, fifth finger on E in the right hand. All right, which puts you in a, an A minor hand position. Now, in the left hand, it's exactly the same hand position, A minor, because the first fourth that we play is B, E, okay? Now, that E might be a little bit hard to read because it's on the second ledger line above the bass clef staff. Okay. Now remember the top line of the bass clef, here are the lines of our bass clef, right? The top line of the bass clef is an A. So when we're looking at lines, we just go up two more lines. C, middle C, E, second line up. Okay, so that's our opening hand position, okay? Now, as I said before, a fourth is any interval that is four notes away from the bottom note. So this is, you're counting the bottom note always. So it's B, C, D, E. B and E is a fourth. So are A, B, C, D. A and D are a fourth, all right? And we always try to play when we are playing in our five finger position, especially now at the beginning here, that we are playing two and five and one and four so that your hand can measure the interval a little more accurately, okay? Don't, don't try to open out your hand and use funny fingers to play these intervals because then you're not really getting a feel for how far these notes are from each other. Not yet, okay? Now, this explores the two different kinds of fourths that we have. So let's have a look at the first line, okay? So we have, hold on one second. Okay. Um, in the first line, we have B and E, okay? And A and D. All right, that we're playing two and five and one and four. So you just have to keep an eye out for which fourth you're playing. All right, and when we get to the next line, right, the left hand takes over with that fourth while the right hand plays a melody. And hold that left hand the entire time. Okay, let's have a look at that melody once because that melody will come back in measure 13. All right, it's the exact same melody. All right, so here we go. It's starting with our fifth finger on E, and it's gonna skip, but it's a line to a line, so that's actually a third. And it's all stepping and skipping back up, and we're just skipping between these two lines, B and D. Okay, let's try it together. A one, two, three. Then, when we get to the third line, the left hand takes over. All right, and it's playing basically the same thing that the right hand played in the first line. All right, the same two fourths, but the fingering is inverted, okay? So for the upper fourth, you're playing one four, and the lower fourth, you're playing two five, whereas it was the opposite in the right hand. All right, and then the same thing happens. Left hand plays that fourth, B, E, and you play the same melody. Well, it's not exactly the same as you can see at the very end, he changed it around. They changed it around a tiny bit. 
okay? But it's not gonna be that hard to read. So try and read along, all right? It's instead of it's B, D, B, instead of that, you're supposed to play B, A, B, okay? And you're gonna finish up with the B and E fourth, B and E fourth, and you're gonna go up here and play nice and soft, a la last B and E fourth for two measures, tied, all right? So don't play that one, that last note twice, all right? You, if you see the 8 VA symbol, it's written in the same place, but you have to go up an octave, okay? Where it says 8 VA, all right? And the last thing I forgot to mention is please look at the time signature um, when you're first starting this piece. And you notice it says three, four time, and that means three quarter notes in every bar. Okay, so the quarter note gets the beat and there are three of them, all right? So that's why we see lots of dotted half notes here. So when you see dotted half note, please count to three. Don't count to four, don't count to two, count to three, okay? So we're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that, okay? And that's it. Good luck on your preparations and we will see you in the next video. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider clicking on that like button and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching.